All right, hey YouTube, it's been a while. I had a little uh, hand injury and uh, I'm back in business again. And so I uh, uh, wanted to talk about a, a song that was put out in 1986, Land of Confusion by Genesis. If you've seen some of the YouTube videos out there, uh, Ray Wilson does a great acoustic version of this song. It's a super song to play acoustically and especially if you have a backup guitar and I'll show you that as we go through this. But as before, I'm going to play a little bit of the, of the song itself and then I will explain each of the, the parts of the song, the beginning and the chords I use in order to play it acoustically. One of the things, uh, first of all, you have to know the guitar is in a, uh, in a, in a drop D tuning, meaning that the low D or low E string is tuned down to a D. It just makes it a lot easier and it's, it enables you to get the bass line uh, rhythm in this song, very important. Um, so let me go ahead and play a snippet of the song and then uh, we will talk about each of the sections and I'll show you how to play this great tune. Okay, let's talk about how to play this great tune. As I mentioned before, the, uh, the guitar is in a drop D tuning. The low E is dropped down uh, one whole uh, step to make it into a D. Okay, so that's the first thing you gotta do in order to make this. Now the guitar amp has a little bit of delay on it. Uh, kind of give a little, uh, a little bit of a, uh, uh, a better, fuller sound, so that's a good thing. Okay, one of the things that you have to do in this song is to get the picking style down. Now, the song opens up with a uh, an E chord, of course, played with the fingerings for a, uh, a drop D tuning. So that's gonna be uh, your, your middle finger on the second fret of the, uh, the drop D here. And then you're gonna put your ring finger on the second fret of the A string, your little finger on the second fret of the D string, and then your pointer finger on the first fret of the G string. Okay, that's gonna give you an E sound. And you're gonna start out with this. You'll recognize this. And they're just doing a downward stroke like I'm doing with my finger. And then you're just going to lift your finger up to give it the minor sound. Okay, so let's just hear that again. E to an E minor. And you're going to get into the strumming, heavy duty. Okay, the first uh, chord on this is an A. Now the A, because we're in drop D tuning, is going to be played you're essentially just going to be covering the um, the first or the lowest three strings on the seventh fret. That's an A. So you're going to go. So you're going to go. You're going to just slide up to a B from an A. So I'm doing it kind of slow so that you get the rhythm. You get the thing, uh, the strumming rhythm. So it's. So you're going to play once and then slide up. You're going to 
would be doing a half bar D, which is on the fifth fret. You're essentially laying your uh, pointer finger uh, over the the bottom uh, five or the high uh, the high five strings on the fifth fret, and then you're going to put your uh, ring finger starting from the seventh fret of the D string all the way down. But you're just going to play really the middle four strings. So it's that's a D. The same strumming pattern. You're going to play it once and slide up to an E. So let's, let's listen to that again. So it's... And then you're going to go to a G going to an A. So this time you're going to go back down doing this lay down on the uh, fifth fret, the lowest uh, three strings, fifth fret. Do that same little slide up again then do a slide up from the A to the B. So let's go over that again. So you, you've just finished this. I must have beamed a thousand dreams Haunted So you're going A to a B, D to an E, G to an A, and then back to an A to a B. It's very important to get that strumming because that's really a signature part. Now if you're playing with a, uh, a second guitar, uh, a lot of times that person can be doing the um, that sort of shifting, that fast shifting, so it's... And they might be able to do it in a different, uh, in a different manner using a different uh, chord uh, uh, position on the, on, the, on the neck itself. Okay, so the first two verses are like that. You're going to do that. Uh, now, did you read the news today that uses the same chords as, the, as I just showed you? Then it gets into sort of a pre-chorus um, section, which is not too hard, and I play it down here on the first uh, in first position. So it's too many. So it's an A starts out in an A. Too many men to a B minor, first position B minor, first position D. Too many people. Now I play the E regular position and I don't play the low E. Just gives it a different sound. Too many people making too many to an A, to a B minor, problems. And then it goes to a D, and then to an E real fast. Not, so it's D and E, not much. To an A, love to go around. To a D. Can't you see to an E? This is a land to an A to a B minor confusion, and then you're gonna do, go to an a, a D and set yourself up for the chorus itself to an A, and now the chorus is played really. Uh, you starts out with a B minor. So this is the world we live in. So it's B minor to a G, which is this laying down here on the fifth fret, the low, uh, the, the lowest uh, three strings. And then you're gonna go up to an A, which is uh, one full step up to the seventh fret, same position. So it's, this is the world we live in. Whoa. So it's B minor, G to an A, B minor, G to an A, B minor, G to an A. Then the last line is B minor, G 
to an eighth with. So you're going to go to make it a place worth living. Now you're going to go back to the E, that very intro E, which is you're, you're going to put these three fingers down on the second fret of the lowest uh, three strings, and then your pointer finger on the first fret of the D string. That's an E. Back to this thing again. Raise your pointer finger. And then you're going to go back to this whole uh, very fast beat. Superman, where are you now? Okay, so you got that. Not too difficult. So you're going to do another verse of that. And then you're going to play the pre-chorus again. So this, so this is the place we... Okay, you're going to play that. A, B minor, D, E. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing on the chorus. So this is the world we live in. And this is the hands we're giving. Okay? All right. So now you've done that last part, and you're going to do this uh, again. You're going to go back to this. You're going to get into the bridge itself. And the song changes up uh, uh, tempo during this part. And it's uh, when Phil Collins is singing it, uh, I like this part of the song. It's it's a really good part of the song in that it uses totally different chords. Uh, so you're going to play that. The first chord is a G sharp minor. I play it on the in the fourth fret bar chord, and then I and I just I just put the uh, the minor here, my ring finger on the sixth fret of the A string and on the D string. So it's, and I'm not playing the low string, okay? So you're just gonna do this downward stroking of these lower, uh, of the high five strings. So G sharp minor, C sharp. This is a barred C sharp on the fourth fret. Again, just doing uh, starting from the A going downward to an E to a G sharp again okay so those are the chords that are used in the in the uh, the bridge itself so let me go ahead and play that at a better tempo sort of walk through that bridge again we're gonna do a uh, G sharp minor C sharp to an E to a G sharp to a C sharp and then you go into the the verse so I remember long ago so G sharp minor when the sun was C sharp and the Stars were bright, this is an E. And the sound of your laughter as I held you to a C sharp to you time. And then you're going to go back to the G uh, bar up here. 
so long ago and you're just gonna bounce between G and A oh and this sort of builds a little crescendo Then you're gonna to slide to a B and then hold it for a second and then the drums kick in again and then you're gonna go back to the A sliding to a B. Okay so not too hard to get past that. Uh, so then you go into the uh, uh, another another round of verse pre-chorus chorus uh, and it essentially just uh, is going to end on that uh, that section of the song sort in the pre-chorus That's how you do uh, Land of Confusion by Genesis in an acoustic version. It's better if you have two guitars, uh, add a little more uh, depth to the, uh, to the sound itself, but a very playable song and hopefully this helps you in trying to uh, un unravel in, in this great tune from 1986. So as before, if you have any questions or comments about my videos, go ahead and leave them at my YouTube channel and I will respond back to you. Um, and I'll catch you next time. So see you later.